Right then guys, the Isuzu pickup just landed with us. Uh, a little bit of kit. Jack's just done a nice series of photographs. I'll take you around with a video. Uh, the gist of it is, I've just printed it out just for those to, to read. I'll take, uh, well in fact, I won't take a photograph of it. I'll just leave it like that. You can pause the video and read about the truck. But the gist of it is the vehicle was, um, was uh, Isuzu uh, back the campaign, the British Cross Country Championship cam campaign a number of years ago. Um, and they built a vehicle, uh, I don't know, to compete in it or to do something with it. This vehicle here was actually uh, is a copy of one of those machines and it was built for PR and marketing. So um, it's been all over just to really promote um, Isuzu. Uh, it was then bought by a Isuzu main dealer in Ireland and he used it for the same thing, to promote his business. So he added his name on it. The, the truck itself is a white truck that's been wrapped. Um, so these bits can come off if you wish and then you can put your information on the side there. So. Um, the rest of the bit, the Toyo tyres, Lifeline, Miltech and all that palaver, you obviously leave that on, wouldn't you? I would suggest. So a real interesting bit of kit. Very well made. We've got two pickups, very, very similar, that we haven't actually had chance to use. So I think you'll find them on the listings. They're going to um, go in our next sale. But super strong. Like I say, I would, I'd hate to think how much it would have cost to commission them. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's a work of art in the roll bar and safety side of things. We've got a, um, a lifeline plumbed in extinguisher. The strengthening goes to the back as well. We've got a fuel cell as opposed to a tank underneath. So it stops all that. We've got side bars. Oh, the spec goes on and on. Fancy seats, navigator style tray, horn button, um, handheld assist, uh, extinguisher there. And then we've got all the fancy gizmos in the middle there for your extra bits and pieces, including your main start and stop and so forth. Harnesses, TRS harnesses, Isuzu, look, proper D-Max, Cobra, bucket seats. I assume that's going to be a brake bias there. Look for your front and rear. Uh, and you've got two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Yeah, I'll have a bit of kit. Upgraded radiator. Lightweight battery. The truck itself has actually only covered, I think about 10,000 miles uh, or thereabouts. We'll have a look inside in a minute. But just a fancy bit of kit if you want one, uh, or if you're gonna do some advertising, advertise your business. You know, it's the next best thing, I suppose, to like an Arctic truck, isn't it? And Arctic trucks are 30, 40,000 quid. So we've got fancy springs and things here, look, and shockers. Obviously, she's on a fancy set of wheels, mud flaps. In here, just like our truck, turn it on. You've got your main on and off button over here. And then obviously you've got your horn and your fan overrides, so forth, different extra lights, you name it. She's done 10,700 miles, so it hasn't done a lot. I mean, let's face it, it can still be used as a normal truck, really. I mean. Oh great, you've got your fuel cell, but um, you can work around, around that, can't you? Fancy clips here, look, on your tailgate. Pop that one in there while we're here. Oh, you need, need two hands, really. Underneath it, you've got guards, extra fancy shockers there, look, mud flaps. Sports exhaust, more guards down the bottom more guards there look yeah fair bit of kit be brilliant wouldn't it as a um, but it's been used actually it says here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed and so forth there's all the spec on it it would be um, a fantastic piece of kit for um, like a course car um, or a course or a, a stage closed car get some beacons on the roof and um, yeah, perfect for that. But anyway, it's here. It's down with us at Pickering. Come down and have a look. See what you think. If you want something a bit different to advertise your business and something that will actually earn its living as well, it could well be 
the one for you. Like I say, the extra livery can come off and you can uh, leave most of the wrap on. But come down, have a look, see what you think. I think you'll be impressed.